I'm Brian Anderson, here with Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce. This game against Los Angeles here, their first look at the Clippers. They dropped both games against this team last season. Just a shellacking they don't want to repeat. And out of bio slams it in. Oh, a solid all-around player, Jimmy Butler, Jimmy understands Butler. the importance of sharing the ball with open guys. It's good on the putback. Great effort to turn the miss into two points. Yes, sir. Those are the hustle points. And finished off by Adebayo. Showing off the dynamic athleticism. Bam is no stranger to rocking the rim. Well, an all-star appearance for Bam Adebayo in 2020. Grant, you think he can get back there? No doubt. I mean, I think the bigger issue is we've seen his numbers taper off just in the postseason. Can he reverse that Paul and bring George. his best when it matters most? Three pointer. He doesn't need much time to get his shot off. Paul George is a dependable catch and shoot option. Look, this is how you draw it up coming out of the locker room. Three of three so far. And the Clippers with the ball. After the basket by Miami. The shake. And the basket is good. He got it to go and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up. An opportunity at a three-point play. Few things get better as they age, especially in sports. Paul George is right up there with this all-around game. And the layup is good. I love the execution we are seeing thus far. Four shots and four makes. Leonard outside. Nifty move. Here's Zubats. Pass to Highland. Offline with a three. Hero for three. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Hero's got five. And again, Smitty, Paul George continues to impress. B.A., what impresses me the most is that he's still competing at the highest level, looking almost as good as he was when he was an all-star with the Pacers. Now here's Lowry. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. Butler with the bucket. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. Clippers ball. Now, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. Here's Lowry. Perfect night so far. Two for two. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Leonard attacking. Oh, the offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Lowry, no good. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now here's Leonard. A guy this team turns too often, averaging almost 24 a game. Not going to go that time. Some solid defense from Butler. In terms of offense, the Clippers have been up and down in recent years. When they're healthy, they're dangerous. When they're not, it's a struggle. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Pass to Zubats. Back to George. Oh, and the jam by George. What an athlete Paul George is. Leaping up with such ease on those throwdowns. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. And Smitty with the Clippers, it shows how important depth is to an NBA offense. B.A., you know this. It's great to have a powerful first unit. But if your second unit can't carry its weight, it's a fragile situation.
Both teams will make substitutions. For your Miami Heat dancer. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Oladipo. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Pass to Leonard. And the three-pointer goes. The three-point numbers for Kawhi Leonard, they show this man is elite from deep. Low block shot. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Phoenix. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. You know, sometimes great skill can overcome a lack of intensity, but it's very rare. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. Here's Butler. It's rebounded by Zubats. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. <laughs> Strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Out to Oladipo. Here's Butler. And George with some nice D. He got it up. Good job there by Duncan Robinson. Affecting the shot. The, score. the scoring is fast and Miami Heat. 22. The Clippers. 15. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Heat. What they've done is they've looked to push the pace and transition early and it's paid dividends with their fast break points. And something else I've noticed is how they've been able to cause turnovers and take advantage of them on the offensive end, not wasting those extra chances at all. <laughs> I'll tell you, those finishes are always extra special when they come from your point guard. Oh, forget about his passing. Can we see more dunking? It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. George, no good. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, guys, Jimmy Butler's focus is all on team success. In fact, his agent said whenever he calls Jimmy to congratulate him on personal accolades, like All-NBA Team, for example, Jimmy hangs up in his face before he can finish the sentence. Ryan, for Butler, there's only one prize that really matters. Yeah, he's a rare breed, Allie, for sure. Thanks for that. Pass to George. Adebayo grabs the board. Bam Adebayo gives his team so much flexibility, playing multiple positions and doing whatever the team has. From nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Shot by Leonard, no good. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. Now here's Butler. Unable to get that one. Great D that time from Zubats. And Smitty, how about Bam out of Mayo? He really diversifies his team offensively. He does, B.A. He's a consistent score. And he's fierce on the defensive end. Guard smaller guys. Max Strews. Here's Mann. He picked up 10 in his last game. Fast break Miami. Lowry, no good. On offense, here are the Clippers. A 12-point game. Here's Leonard. Some solid defense from Marks. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they've stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Out of bio, that's good. Out of bio's got four points now in the quarter. We've seen that from Larry for a long time. A fantastic passer of the basketball. 
Here's Leonard. Banked it in off the glass. Leonard got nine. Shooting much better this quarter than last. You can see his confidence growing. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ballgame. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. The Heat making a switch here. Grant, we always talk about great footwork for most players, but how about perimeter players? You know, I'm glad you brought that up, B.A. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score, whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post-up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who could do it all have superior footwork. Believe that. We've got a minute 48 left in the first half. Robinson with a steal. Oh, George with a steal. And it's the Clippers on the break. Leonard gets the bucket. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Pass to Adebayo. And finished off by Adebayo. And we've seen a leap from Adebayo recently. Scoring now at a steady clip. Miami and count it. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. Taking things into his own hands this quarter, trying to keep his team afloat. And Kawhi Leonard, one of three perimeter players to win back-to-back -back Defensive Player of the Year awards. It's him, Sidney Moncrief, and a young Dennis Rodman. And it's the Clippers on the break. Kawhi like a gazelle cruising down the court. Kawhi's difficult to stay with in transition. And out of bio slams it in. And taking a look at this first half, they've just shown better shot selection. What they have done is ran their plays all the way through until they get something they like. Here's out of bio. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Free throw, no good for Adebayo. Bam Adebayo has been fairly solid from the line throughout his career. Here's Leonard. Goes back up. Adebayo grabs the board. Pass to Butler. Got a hand on it. And he gets it back. And he lobs it up top. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Leonard can't get it to go. And it's Miami's ball. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And finished off by Adebayo. Nice work in there by Adebayo. He sets a physical tone for this team. Leonard, left side. Pass to George. One second left. Oh, and the buzzer beater is good. What a score. And credit him for understanding the situation and coming through. And so it's Miami. Now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end. They've been fantastic pushing the ball. Fast break points, a key to this lead. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Looking to end this cold spell. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Oh, a good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. And coming into the league, Kawhi Leonard was viewed as a raw prospect, a solid athlete and defender, but someone that needed to work on his jumper. 
Well, Smitty, there's no question Kawhi has put a lot of hours into developing his jump shot. And you see the results now. He's become one of the Kawhi game's elite Leonard. scorers because of the Lee. hard work he put in, even becoming lethal from outside the arc. Pass to Love. Back to Martin. And it's going to be a three-second call. Second violation. Three ball. Clippers trail. Leonard with the ball. Double team on Leonard. Miami foul. And Kyle Lowry is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Second half getting started. About a minute play. Here's Leonard. Harassing defensively. Tyler Hero is a competitor who doesn't let his motor go cold. Offensive rebound. Second chance shot. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. Heroes got 10. From you just Butler. love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, Miami is very efficient. Coach Spolster said, quote, you want to maximize your offense in all the different ways in your menu without feeling like you're taking turns. I don't think anyone would say that about our team. They're an unselfish group that likes sharing the ball, and they enjoy each other's success. Brian? Dally, thank you. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Yeah. Right? Yeah. At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. Snatched up. Powell outside. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. And here we go. The Heat fast break. And it's Jim Butler with Lee. the jam. Butler. Great game for him. Double-double now. You have to pay attention to Butler when he's flying toward the basket for an alley-oop. Smitty, it can be pretty impressive to watch this Miami squad go to work on the offensive end. Yes, B.A., the reason why they have a bunch of talented shooters, that's for certain. But they also pay attention to the little things, like grabbing offensive boards and moving the ball around. And Grant, no team better than Miami at developing undrafted prospects. I mean, for key roles, too. You look at last year's playoffs. Struess, Martin, Vincent. Robinson. It's allowed Miami to stay on top Miami in a salary cap driven top. league. Norman Powell is a veteran in this league. He plays to his strengths and rarely tries to force things. Here come the Heat dancers. Everybody. Time called here. The Heat decide to talk it over. Yeah, back in the day when I was playing, the Clippers were always an easy win. Now, LA is consistently a playoff team. Boy, oh boy, how times have changed. And your last year in the league, the 12-13 season, you played for the Clippers. Yes, I did. And a great team at that. Blake Griffin, CP3, all in their primes. We won the division for the first time in Clippers history. Clippers. Team record 56 Russell wins. Westbrook. That year was first big in the turnaround foul. for L.A. Second team foul. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. You know, thinking about the Clippers' history, those Lob City days really stand out, Smitty. Yes, B.A., one of the most fun eras in recent NBA history. Blake and DeAndre throwing down alley oops from CP3. That team had their own style, attitude. I love watching that Lob City group play. And here's Gordon from the arc. Pure from three-point range. Gordon's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Here's Lowry. He's off on that one. And Los Angeles the other way now. The three. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Three points. The three-point shooting has been on point here in the second half. Here's your seven. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Your seven's got his first two points. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. We got some flair on that one. Westbrook is vicious when attacking the rim. 
Pass to your seven. Back to Lowry. 4-3. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. And it's the Clippers on the break. Now here's Plumley. He's covered by your seven. For three, Powell. Struess grabs the miss. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Westbrook with the miss. The Heat with the lead. Oladipo outside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That one on Gordon. Well, Oladipo's game features a lot of speed. If you don't keep up with him, he'll make you pay. And Oladipo drops them both. There's 18 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Batum. Powell outside. Buries it down low. Powell. Powell's got four points in the quarter. Keeping his balance on the difficult take. Norman Powell is gifted at finishing through physical contact. Up in time. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And so it's Miami. Miami Heat. 61. The Clippers. 53. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And it's Miami's ball. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's Butler. And the lamp is good off the glass. Butler has come a long way with his ball, Hallen. He has a few tricks he can pull off from time to time to score. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. And the bucket is good. And the Heat lead by 12. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. An uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Well, you always want to play aggressive on the boards, but he was a little too aggressive that time. Yeah, there's an art to snatching rebounds from behind, but most players can't pull it off. Tim Duncan was one of the best. Pass to Gordon. Let's a three fly. Adebayo grabs the board. Hero outside. Outside Butler. And that's an intentional foul. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Outside Butler. Clock at six. A shot no good. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Leonard. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. Leonard's got 27 points. And out of bio slams it in. This is what he gives you night in and night out. Stellar production at the offensive end. Zubat's high post. Up and in on the layup. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Here's Butler. And it's yeah. Butler with yeah. the chance. Butler. I love that about Jimmy Butler. Sees a little bit of daylight, takes it, and slams it. To the paint. Here's Leonard. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. He is a scoring machine right now, but he needs more support from his teammates if they want to win this one. Earning his money on the interior tonight. That's a nice move. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. Once Leonard gets going like this, look out. He's cooking and showing no signs of letting up. Back to Butler. Pass to Adebayo. Outside for Butler. Drains the triple. 
And the Heat lead by 13. Something that Butler continues to work on. When he's dialed in from deep, he helps big time. Here's Leonard. Oh, great D that time from Adebayo. And they're pushing it up. Here's Butler. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Huge challenge at the rim. The defender could not have played that any better. An aggressive move to a strong finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. They're on top by 11. 144 left in the fourth quarter of this one. So it's both teams making substitutions here. 144 left in the game. That's a good look by Kevin Love. The decision making with the ball in his hands makes him different than other fours. Russell Westbrook. What? Wait. Hey, dunks are always for the big boy. <laughs> Emphatic move by the point guard. Forget just landed Russell in. He wanted to make a statement. They need to run plays for him, get him more touches, whatever it takes to get him producing. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two on Robert Covington. Lowry play by Kyle Lowry, drawing the foul and still putting up his shot. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Miami. For me, consistent penetration the entire game, and that's given them a lot of options. Well, another major factor in the offensive Russell performance Westbrook. was the fast break. Converting on those chances when they get them tonight. Great vision on that pass. Kawhi moving it Russell to the Westbrook. open teammate. Second personal foul. Third. He team drops foul. the first one. And that'll push the lead to double digits. The line. Kyle Lowry. And a tough break as his second attempt is no good at the line. You love the intensity Kyle Lowry brings. He gives you a no-nonsense mentality at the point guard position. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Left side low. Here's Adebayo. Can't hit that one. Great D that time from two bots. You know, I think it's desperation time for them. For them to have a chance, oh, everything has to go right on both ends from this point on. Russell Westbrook. No moment is ever too big for Paul George. He remains confident in the clutch. I love how he's willing to sacrifice his body in there, giving maximum effort. That's what it takes on the defensive boards. Here's Leonard. It's hauled in by the Heat. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's Lowry. Covington grabs the board. On offense, here are the Clippers. They're on a 13-5 run. Westbrook can't hit. That's a rarity for him, especially against the soft defense. Team foul. Good on the first. And that increases the lead to six. Now the line. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a seven-point game. Productive trip to the line. Extended their lead. Outside Butler. Hero for three. It's rebounded by Zubats. Here's Leonard. Money. I mean, unbelievable. It's one thing to be talented, but Kawhi is clutch as well. And here's Butler outside. No good on the shot. So it's Miami picking up the win. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. And that's going to...